Hello, good morning class 4 students. Today, let us study a beautiful story, a moral story. Little girls are wiser than elders. Many times we feel small girls are wiser than elders. Let us see such a story. This story is taken from Leo Tolstoy's Little Girls Wiser Than Men. Let us go through the story. Little girls are wiser than elders. In a small village in Russia, there lived two little girls called Malasha and Akavilya. They were good friends and always played together. You can see in the figure two girls. They always used to play together. They were good friends. They used to talk. They used to laugh. They used to play. Always they were together because they were good friends. Their names Malasha and Akavilya. Let's see what happened to them. On one Sunday, they were both wearing new dresses. They were rather proud of their dresses. Here you can see in the figure, in the image, two girls with new dresses. They were so happy, they liked that dresses and they were so proud of their dresses. Malasha thought that her dress was so beautiful. Akolia also thought her dress was also so beautiful. Both of them were so proud of their dresses. Both of them liked their dresses very much. On one Sunday, they were both wearing new dresses. They were rather proud of their dresses. It was the beginning of spring. What is spring? Spring is a season between winter and summer when plants begin to grow. So it was the beginning of spring. The snow had just begun to melt. Little pools of water lay here and there. You can see in the figure little pools snow melt. After melting of snow, some areas change as pool. That means still water, a small area where water is stored, that is called pool. The two girls came to a pool which was quite large, large big one. Near a big pool they reached. Malasha asked, why don't we play in the pool? Let us play in the pool in water. She asked to Aquilia, why don't we play in the pool? Malasha was about to step into the pool with her shoes on. After telling to Akolia, Malasha was trying to enter into the pool. Suddenly, Akolia stopped her and helped her to remove her shoes and stockings first. Stocking means socks. Akolia asked her to wait and removed her shoes and stockings first. Then. She took off her own shoes and stockings also. So both of them reached near a pool and Malasha was trying to enter into the pool. Suddenly, Akolia stopped her and, removed her and helped her to remove her shoes and stockings. Then she also removed her shoes and stockings. Before long, after removing shoes and socks, very soon, suddenly, they entered into the pool or that water. Into the pool, they entered. Before long, both of them were wading through the pool. Soon, before long means soon, after removing socks and shoes, they both of them entered into the pool and they started to walk into the pool because it was not so deep and so they were able to whack nicely. Both of them were wading through the pool and enjoying themselves. They were careful not to spoil their clothes because they were these clothes were their clothes were new clothes and they were so proud of their clothes and they liked their clothes very much. 
So both of them were very careful not to spoil their clothes with water. All of a sudden, Malasha slipped. When they were walking through the pool, Malasha suddenly slipped and splashed water and mud on Akolia. That means unknowingly to me how happened. Malasha slipped. And when she slipped, water uh, spilt on the body of Akolia. Her dress became wet. All of a sudden, Malasha slipped and splashed water and mud on Akolia who was standing nearby Malasha. Akolia got angry and went to strike her. When Akolia's dress became wet, she became angry. She thought purposely Malasha did so. She went to beat Malasha, strike her. And she asked, why did you spoil my dress? I told you to be careful, she said. Malasha ran out of the pool. When Akolia went to beat Malasha, Malasha ran out of the pool. She, uh, Akolia asked, why did you spoil my dress? I told you to be careful. Malasha ran out of the pool. And Malasha asked, who says I did it on purpose? Why are you thinking so? I didn't do it in purpose. Who said I did it in purpose? She asked. Akolia's mother, who was passing by, saw her daughter's dress ruined. Because of water and mud, her daughter's new dress ruined. She also saw Malasha running away. She caught hold of Malasha. Akolia's mother blocked Malasha and asked, You wicked girl, you naughty girl, how dare you to spoil my daughter's dress? She asked. Mother interfered. Akolia's mother came and interfered in their matter. And she asked, You wicked girl, how dare you to spoil my daughter's dress? She asked. Malasha's mother, who heard the noise, came out of her house. The two mothers started quarreling. Akolia's mother told Malasha, Malasha's mother complained on Malasha. Malasha's mother also started quarreling. Both, uh, both the mothers started to quarreling. Soon the neighbors also reached there. The neighbors took both sides. Some neighbors supported Malasha. Some neighbors supported Akolia. The neighbors took sides and joined in the quarrel. Meanwhile, Akolia has had washed the mud from her dress and had gone back to play. So when these parents were quarreling, Akolia and Malasha, both of them were forgotten their quarreling, angry. Both of them again went for playing. Meanwhile, Akolia had washed the mud from her dress and had gone back to play. Malasha also went after her. Their quarrel was soon forgotten and they were playing and laughing together again. But the neighbors were still fighting. An old woman had been watching all these. She slowly walked up to the crowd. The, she slowly walked up to the people who were quarreling. And she said, shame on you all. You see that little children? Those children have become friends again and gone back to play. Those children have forgotten what they had done. Why they quarreled everything they had forgotten. Again they went back for playing. But you are still fighting. Aren't they wiser than all of you? Those small kids are wiser than you all. Adults are very, that means a young woman or young men or seniors or men. Aren't they wiser than all of you? Many times this type of situation will happen in our lives. Small kids, even though if they fight for simple reasons, very soon they will forget all these activities. In our lives also such situation happens during class time also, school time also, or on the way to home also, while playing, children may quarrel. That is common, usual. But by without understanding the, without understanding the mind of the children, if parents are interfering in the matter of children, that will become a deep dispute or that will become a deep quarreling and people may not again talk each other, people may not again cooperate each other, so many problems will be created. So children are always children. Let them play, let them enjoy, 
let them quarrel after the quarrel they will again mingle and they will play this is a real moral story a very good story understand the story well thank you